This is Steve Pistillo from P2 Automation. Today I'm going to review a product from a company called AbleBridge called the CRM Data Grid. On my screen here is a copy of the accounts form and in the middle of the form you can see a data grid that looks familiar to you. But it's not the standard CRM data grid, it's the data grid from AbleBridge. It has a common look and feel, columns across the top, you can click on them to sort names or sort sort by last name, etc. One benefit is you can name those columns anything you want. So unlike the tool that's available to you from CRM out of the box, you can add a field and type anything you want for the field name. You can also click on, in this case, click on the name. It'll open up the form for that contact, just like you're used to. But one of the biggest benefits is the ability to edit data right here on the grid. For example, I can click on Barbara Baker and then click edit and edit the information right here on the grid. Anything that's required, like the last name, shows up with a red border or the owner shows up with a red border. And all of the components are components you're used to. Text boxes, combo boxes, check boxes, the lookup control, and the date time picker. In this case, just the date picker. And what I can do is type right in this field. Let's say it's Barb Baker. And let's say she doesn't want to receive the blog or the e-news anymore. Click Save and those changes are made to the main record automatically. I can also change multiple records or all the records by just clicking the appropriate checkbox, clicking edit. Now I can make all these changes all at the same time. So that's the inline editing feature. I can also group these records. So for example, let's say I want to group by um, whether or not somebody is getting the e-news. I can click on this dynamic grouping button, enable grouping, and then it brings everybody together. The yes people, the no people, the pending people. I can also use this grid on my dashboard. So here's my main dashboard and as you can see I've got on the upper right hand corner I've got my open opportunities and down at the bottom I have cases. It's already grouped by stage so you can see my pipeline here is grouped by stage. If I click this collapse button here I can see all those stages and you can see everything lines up. The new opportunities $30,000, discovery, 9000 etc. And I can expand those so I don't have to click on the grid and, and go into the underlying data one at a time. I could do it right here. And I can also edit if I want to on this grid. This one I turned off the editing feature so if I click on something here and hit edit I would actually open the record. This tool lets me export to Excel if I want and it can export flat data or it can group it for you automatically. And of course subtotaling is a nice feature. It'll let me do subtotaling by summing up values. I can do the count of the records uh, as well as a couple others. And then down here I can actually decide to turn on dynamic grouping. You can see up here I turned it off. Down here I turned it on. And I can say I don't want to group by stage anymore. I want to group by, let's say, customer and then stage. So I can have two layers. And I can see, let's say I'm working on Stonebrook. I can see that client and all the different stages that I'm working on. And the best feature of all is customizing these grids is as easy as using CRM. So you don't have to use JavaScript, you don't need to go into the 
any XML editors or anything. Everything's right here. I can turn on modes for how the edit button works, turn on display settings, pick the default sorting, grouping, I can add my columns over here. It's all pretty easy. If you'd like more information about the AbleBridge data grid, please contact us at p2automation.com.